learn to evolve to gain um, not only financial freedom but bloody well freedom full stop um, it's like now a few people have mentioned about me leaving work um, and I know a lot of people would be panicking about it myself I see it as it's just work work is a means to an end um, although I'm very focused on what I'm doing and I a lot of time I do enjoy this work I need to move away from it uh, at the end of the day I don't work um, I work to pay bills I don't work to live um, or live for work <laughs> I live for my family and that's it so uh, I've got problems with the company I'm with and at the end of the day it's only a few individuals not the whole business but at the same time I can work elsewhere I don't have to be doing this um, that's why I'm sitting there thinking okay what's the next options and this is why the whole evolution thing needs to happen not just for me but for everybody um, I was talking to somebody yesterday is actually going to publish his novels he's been uh, sitting on for a while why is that happening well I think um, the fact is it, it was all about the previous videos I've done about cause and effect if you want to make change you have to change um, doesn't matter what it is you know if you're not happy in work don't stay in work find something else the whole world is based on fear um, successful people take the biggest risks often um, because they understand you, you, you'll see it they've lost everything and gained everything um, and they may have lost it again and then gained it again because they know to actually get to the top you have to risk absolutely everything um, it's not an easy decision to make but at the same time are they enjoying life? a lot of the time I don't think so um, because they missed the point they're constantly worried about people uh, abusing their business but also it's all everything's ego driven family orientation is just don't care um, I was thinking about this yesterday actually about the, the fact there was some stuff I did for this work related um, and I knew some people didn't have it so I just asked did anybody want it and a lot of people put their hands up it wasn't like one or two it was something like 20 20 plus um, which is a lot because it's stuff that you need to have to run a contract and when you get a big um, push for like that there's something wrong there's something wrong uh, where people feel that they shouldn't ask you because they're, they're worried or nobody will go I don't know how to do this what's going wrong with the world I don't know when I was a kid we were encouraged if you don't know ask in the workplace people love to see other people hang out to dry um, I don't do it I actually like to see people succeed I do get irritated by people that are complete failures and refuse to um, exp you know take responsibility is one of the things but change is another you often find they get promoted <laughs> but the the point being is that I don't know how they go through life you know the fact is I believe in what I do it doesn't matter what it is I believe in what I'm doing but some of these people just turn up to work they are useless at what they're doing um, and they'll try and avoid doing anything as much as possible because it puts them at risk of losing their job that's why you hear about like in the NHS you have all these chief executives and then they have consultants doing the work for them why? because a chief executive could be fired a consultant was never employed in the first place it's all the same and this is why things are such a mess everywhere <laughs> but for you just be aware that you can change anything can change nothing is fixed um, life's for living that's the main thing always remember life is for living if you're unhappy doing something just sit there and go you know what 
I'm not happy with it. I'm going to change it. You know, doesn't matter what it is. It's been a crap relationship. Ditch the ex. If you're in a uh, financial situation, get rid of your debt. If you're in a uh, situation where you may end up trapped in a mortgage, for example, um, question it. That's what I did with Spain. You know, I sat there, I got this money in the bank, uh, which will be by the end of the month, 20,000 euros. Um, and I sat there and went, okay, I put that down as my deposit. I pay 10% um, to the state plus, 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 plus. Still need to get a mortgage for at least 40,000. That ties me to the company. I'm not being tied to anybody anymore. I, I learned my lesson a long time ago. And that's why I recommend everyone else does the same. If you don't need to get it, don't get it. Um, I go to Spain in three weeks time. If it doesn't develop there, so what? You know, at least I, I can come on here and say, well, if it doesn't work out, so what? And you think, well, what do I mean? Well, I'm not fluent in Spanish yet. Um, we're in an area that is predominantly empty properties, but we're in an area that's cheap to live. We have internet. We have some sustainable incomes already, but getting that from where it is now to where I want it to be is not an easy feat, but it is possible. But you have to remember my cost of living in Spain compared to the Philippines Although comparable, um, the the property has nearly three hundred euros. Well, it is is three hundred euros rent. In the Philippines, I have no rents, but we own the properties, so I have potential risks. I have to increase my income, but at the same time, I could go. It's too risky. What if? What if? Here's the what if. If I don't do it now, I never would. If you don't do it now, you never will. And that's 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 pretty much it. Live life to the max. If you don't, you never will. Thanks for watching.